Even if we drastically reduce our emissions, the sea level will rise with 80 centimeters by the end of the century. As a result, the coastline and hinterland are vulnerable to flooding during heavy storms. Governments all over the world are taking measures to protect the local communities. Measures including beach replenishment, dike strengthening and natural coastal protection. In the harbour of Newport, we are building a storm surge barrier to protect us against storm surges. Averagely, we will have to close our barrier every 10 years. But taking into account a sea level rise, we will have to close it every two years in the year 2050. The scale model shows how it works. Our barrier will be a rising sector gate with a span of 38 meters. So the steel barrier rotates around two axes anchored in the concrete abutments. And the concrete abutments are connected to the riverside. In normal conditions, the barrier rests in a concrete cell at the bottom of the river. But when there is a storm, it will rotate 90 degrees so it can hold the water from the sea. We can even rotate it further, up to 180 degrees, for maintenance. One of the most difficult tasks in the construction of the storm surge barrier was the transport and installation of the 4,500 ton sill. After construction in the port of Antwerp, we submerged the sill in Ostend to reduce the weight. Then, after a short trip overseas to Newport, we completed the unprecedented challenge the installation underwater with a tolerance of only one centimeter. Beside the crane vessel carrying the sill, we mobilized teams on both shores and in the sill with a lot of equipment as barges and cranes. A diving team was on standby and with the help of our survey team, we were able to position the sill exactly firmly tightened between the two abutments. In 2024, we will install the steel barrier and in 2025, the project will be finished and the storm surge barrier will be ready to protect Newport and the hinterlands.